cook it with emotion. <laughs> yeah, treat it like a sacred. I would like to introduce Tara Fisher, also known as Mockingbird, Burning Man Seattle Regional Contact, who will share an ingenious way burners turned lemons into lemonade and created the Seattle Multiverse Actual Reality Trek, also known as Smart, last year during Black Rock City Burn Week to share a little more about how they've done this. Welcome, Tara. Thank you. I was glad to be here and always, always thrilled to talk about this event. We had such a great time with it. So of course, last year with being unable to do our normal sort of uh, in-person hugging and regional kind of events, Seattle chose to take our inspiration from the Burner Art Safari in Austin and create a, a guided city tour, uh, a self-guided city tour of art, music, games, and ultimately baked goods, which really stole the show. Uh, we created a WordPress site and a, an attached shared Google map because we were trying to find a way to make the process in, as inclusive as possible, not just for participation um, on the final product, of course, but also in the creation. Our, the slides you're seeing here are some images of some of our great things that happened. There was a, an amazing mix of art and performance that happened. We had a, a minimum safety criteria that was required for all of our participating spaces uh, and people just did amazing things with the criteria that we established. Um, you can see some of the headpieces that were uh, centered in, in a front yard in Seattle here from one of our artists. And it was really an interesting project because we didn't know what people were going to come up with in that space. We just wanted to create a canvas for people to be able to paint with their own particular colors. Uh, we also wanted it to be a sort of choose your own adventure for everyone who was involved in, in just participating as people coming into it, not only for our burner community to feel like they had a space to go and be with each other in a safe way, but also for our non-burner neighbors. This event turned out to be an incredible community outreach project that none of us really foresee, foresaw happening in that way. Uh, many neighbors who didn't know what Burning Man was, didn't really know the folks who lived on their street quite as well, really came out and forced to be part of this. And that was, that was an even more amazing piece of this, I thought. And then we did it again. We had so much fun doing, and I'm, I forgot to mention, we did this during Burn Week in, uh, last year. And we had so much fun, we decided to do it again for Halloween, partially because of that baked goods theme camp, the pie shoot. Uh, they had such an, a huge turnout and such interest from the neighbors in participating with something like that again, that we created the Halloween weekend art jaunt in order to accommodate all of the brand new friends that we had made. And uh, people who wanted to, for the first time, really get into creating group art on their streets. So with that in mind, it was such a success. Uh, not only did the group who put that together decide they wanted to do it again in general, but inspiration for how well that went has moved on into a larger space with our regional this year. We are again not doing um, an in-person regional camping event like we normally do. However, we're going to take this concept and amplify it out. Uh, the same idea, we're having a landing space with a shared map and minimum criteria for safety, we're going to use county, city, and state guidelines to help us figure that out. Um, but it's going to be a little bit bigger. It's uh, we're going. I, I, a slide just went past, so it'll come back around again. We had one theme camp last year during the Smart Walk, where people. It was a large undertaking, and people were really careful to have separate corrals uh, and registrations to keep the numbers down. And then what you could do is go in there and participate in pieces of the camp. You could shoot musical instruments with a Nerf ball gun. Um, the volunteers wiped everything down between each use. Um, there was a pod where you could communicate with aliens. Like it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And when people saw that that was possible, they asked us to create it again and create a space for them to try their own hand at it as well. So the inspiration was there, the passion is there, and now the support is there. Um, it, we've, um, Ignition Northwest has partnered with the Seattle RCs and the larger Seattle community to make this happen. We've got an art grants program that's opening up for project and art funding. Um, we're going to be offering any project support that people need to make their thing happen. And right now, the pieces that are in, in process are uh, costumed bike rides, 
um, uh, who are working on logistics on a, a river float with you know very small numbers, very safety conscious, but also a way for people to feel like they can be together in a new space. Um, there are smaller burner projects that have come up from this idea and uh, have become more of an ongoing thing. Yeah, burners on wheels absolutely is a thing that just came into being and has been quite successful so far. Uh, creating events for people to show up on skates, on their bikes, whatever it needs to be, uh, so that they can have fun together. And you know, also we're taking care of each other. Seattle, of course, uh, very, focuses really hard on civic responsibility in the time of COVID, and so we're we're doing what we can to make sure people can connect. Uh, we're also we also have a group of people who's focused on the VR world, so they're creating a, a virtual reality space for us as well. And you know, it'll be it'll it, this was a great week long experiment in ingenuity just to see what people could come up with, and I'm personally really excited to see how this goes in our next event, which is happening in July to see how it amplifies, to people to take this gorgeous beginning of, you know, people who really just opened up their hearts like, hey, I want to share this with everybody. And now they get to do it on a larger scale. So yeah, that's, that's uh, we do a lot in Seattle, but this is kind of where our big focus is for, for July. So back to you, Iris. Mockingbird, Mockingbird, thank you for sharing and your leadership. Cook it with emotion, yeah. Treat it like it's sacred, like it's sacred. Cook it with emotion, you gotta cook it. Treat it like it's sacred. Gonna make some music together. Beautiful, it is fantastic to see you again.